Hey, this is Chris, and in this video, I want to do a stellar data recovery review for you guys so you can see exactly what this software does and if it is something for you. And I want to go through a full demo. I'm actually going to try to recover some pictures off of one of my thumb drives that's at least a couple years old. And so this here is the software. Now, you can find some links under this video in the description box. Uh, it'll take you to the pages where you can download uh, the Stellar Data Recovery Tool and see the different options. There's actually different kinds of uh, recovery tools they have. But this here, when you install it, this is what you're going to see. And it's really neat because the interface is really clean and you can pick out exactly what you want to recover. So if you want to make it easy, you can just choose everything and it's going to go out and it's going to search your destination to find anything and everything that is recoverable. Now, the thing with this is if you do all data, depending on what you're going to recover it from, it can take a long time to recover it. And what I mean by that is if you have a one terabyte hard drive, it's going to have to go through that entire hard drive to find out what's recoverable for everything on it. So what I recommend is if you know exactly what you're trying to recover, then just pick that out. If you know that it's a photo or a video or emails or documents, then that's what you want to pick. So for this example, the thumb drive that I have isn't very big and I don't think there's much on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all data and we're going to click next. And now it's going to ask us where we want to recover our data from. And we have several options here, such as our desktop from our My Documents folder. We can choose a location on our computer or we can choose one of the connected drives that's attached to our computer. So if you have some kind of a storage device attached to your computer, such as I do right here with my thumb drive, you can simply click it. Now there's also an option down here where if you can't find your drive, you have the option where you can try to recover a lost partition on your hard drive. And we're going to go ahead and click scan. Let me drag this over. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to wait here just, it shouldn't take very long. Okay, actually it's already done. Now normally it takes a lot longer than this, but like I said, I don't think I had a whole lot on this. Um, but if we go over and look at the creation date on this, we're going to see that most of these files uh, were created back in 2017, 2016. There's even one here for 2015. And so what I'm going to do, there's some images on here that I want to try to recover. So what I can do is I can come up here and click on them and actually see a preview of them. Now just a word of advice is if you have a huge hard drive you're trying to scan or a lot of files you may want to turn the preview off while it's scanning. If you don't it's going to try to load all the previews while it's scanning and it's going to take a much longer time for it to do it. So for this example I left it turned on because I didn't have that much to scan. Now over here are your main folders, which you can click on any of these and then it's going to show you all the items within that specific folder. I just went ahead and chose the entire thumb drive, so it's showing me everything on here that can be recovered within that hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uncheck, I'm, going to, I'm just going to recover a few items here. We'll do this one and see what this one looks like. Okay, there's the mountains. We'll do this one and we'll do a cabin and then what I'm going to do is click recover it's going to ask me where I want to save these two on my uh, computer and I'm going to choose this folder right here now right now there is nothing in this folder so I'm going to go ahead and click on recover it's going to ask me where to save it I'm going to click browse I'm going to go to my desktop and choose the recovered files folder now all I have to do is click select folder and start saving and it's going to go and take those images that I just check marked it's going to recover them from that drive and put them into here now one thing I forgot to show you when I started this was the drive that I'm using that there's nothing on it right now everything's been deleted so let me go ahead and open that up for you so we'll go down here and click on this and you can see this drive here it says this folder is empty so there's nothing in here so the files that it recovered from this USB drive were files that were deleted so all, everything you see here was deleted off of that drive okay so if we come up to this folder now where I saved it we can open it we have a folder here and we can see our three images so if we just click on one of them and you can see that they are restored and back to normal now with that said, 
chances are you are not going to have a 100% recovery rate on every file on your computer. And the reason being is because over time, if you deleted something off of a hard drive or a thumb drive and you installed something or put other files back onto that hard drive or thumb drive, then there's a chance that the new files may overwrite some of the old files. And when that happens, it can corrupt those files to where they're not recoverable anymore. So the best advice that I can give you is that if you have something that's been deleted off of some type of a storage device is to try to recover it as soon as possible so you have a much better chance of getting it back. So with that said, I have the links under this video where you can go check out this tool. You can download it and if you guys are missing any kinds of files you can see that it does recover just about anything that uh, you could possibly need recovered. Let me go back to the home here. Click no. You can see here that it recovers files, folders, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any types of folders, emails, um, different types of photos, audio, videos, just about anything you can recover. Uh, Stellar Data Recovery can recover it for you. So go there and check it out. Leave a comment under the video and tell me what you think.